What's up guys, I'm Chicks and you are watching Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on another brand new Android 7 TV box. So this box has a brand new all winner H6 CPU which I've never seen before so I'm quite excited to see how this one performs. So this is the Zido H6 Pro Android TV box. So as usual, we begin with a quick unboxing, followed by a series of tests, testing 4K videos, HD streaming, gaming, and finishing off with a benchmark and Wi-Fi test. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. The CPU is the all winner H6 quad core, running at 1.8 gigahertz. The GPU is the Mali T720, 2 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi AC, Bluetooth version 4.1, Android version 7, supports Ultra HD 4K videos at 60 frames per second, supports HDR10, and this also supports DTS audio. So this is everything you get in the box, beginning with a user manual, HDMI cable, a UK power adapter, Remote control, and the TV box itself. So here is the brand new Zido H6 Pro. Wow, that is amazing. This is made completely from aluminium metal. Um, everything feels like metal, the sides and the bottom. And the top is actually made from some sort of plastic glass a very attractive and unique looking Android TV box. Let's take a closer look. At the top, we have a Zido logo. So at the front, we have an LED display and a light. If we keep going, you have a USB 3 port, which is great. On the back, you have an AV port, HDMI, network LAN port, optical out, and your power socket. If we keep going, there are two further full-size USB ports and a micro SD card slot. And we are back to the front of the unit. And this is what the bottom of the unit looks like. I'm loving the white and gold color. They're calling it champagne gold. And it really goes nicely with the remote control. So very attractive. We've got a brand new CPU in here, guys. It's an all winner H6 quad core running at 1.8 gigahertz. This is a brand new CPU and we have not seen how it performs. So I am quite excited to test this one out. So this box is quite nice and small in size. Let's quickly bring in the H96 Max and do a quick comparison on size. So H96 is one of the smallest you can get. And the Zido is actually a millimeter or two smaller all the way around. And in thickness, they are virtually the same. But the build quality of this box is actually amazing. So now I'm going to get this all hooked up to my TV and capture card. And we're going to find out how good this box performs. I'll be right back. So this TV box takes 14.79 seconds to boot up. As you can see, we have a nice and clean looking home screen. The large icons at the top cannot be edited as they are fixed shortcuts. You also have these small icons at the bottom with shortcuts to all the popular video streaming apps. These small icons can be customized by clicking the plus sign and selecting your favorite apps and they will immediately appear at the bottom. You've also got this unique app called BoxRC, which allows you to make your Android phone into a games controller and it works great. So this TV box has 16 gigs of internal storage from which you have around 10 gigs available to use. Now let's check out the app section. So these are all the standard apps you get on this system. I have not installed anything yet. So you have a few apps to get you started, including the full Google Play Store, giving you access to thousands of free apps and games. So now we're going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive. So let's begin with the first video.
Moving on to the YouTube test, you can stream a maximum of 4K on YouTube. Yes, you can actually stream 4K on this TV box. So let's see what it looks like. It's you. You're gonna get me in trouble, Dante. Someone could hear me. I wish someone wanted to hear me. I was desperate to escape the well-worn path. Work, marriage, kids. Not me. I wanted to experience the extraordinary, which is why I ended up in the jungle. All the games I tested installed nice and quick and played extremely well. There were no frame drops and gaming was an enjoyable experience on this TV box. Here are the results for the Wi-Fi speed test. For download, we have around 11, and for upload, we have eight megabits per second. And I was using a shared hotel Wi-Fi connection to run these tests. So this box does not come rooted as standard. In the Antutu benchmark test, this box achieved a total score of 45,197. So let's see how that compares with the others. So this is my top performing TV box chart, showing you the latest TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. All I can say is wow, another new entry in the top 10. I knew this box would score high as I could feel the power, but to break the top 10 and achieve position six was quite surprising. Very impressive. I'll keep this list updated with every new TV box review, so stay tuned for more. So there you have it guys, that was the Zido H6 Pro. Let's break it down. In summary, this TV box has a superb metal build quality, nice and compact in size. It's got a new super fast all winner H6 CPU. You have DDR4 RAM, which is three times faster than DDR3. This plays 4K 10 bit videos. You can play any game from the store, streams 4K YouTube and Netflix. You've got the latest Android version 7, a nice home screen, and you also have USB 3. The only negative point I could find was the storage. Um, it would be nice to have 32 gigs. This is a near perfect Android TV box. The power and speed is there. You can watch 4K YouTube and Netflix. I have nothing bad to say about this box except the storage, which is not really a big deal as you can expand the storage with a micro SD card and format that to internal storage. A very powerful TV box which has shaken up the top 10. This is definitely one of my favorite TV boxes for this year. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. And if you like it, you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves. Let me know in the comments what you think of this TV box. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one.